top 50 winning t-shirt designs niche research for 2023 now when it comes to selling t-shirts in q4 just keep in mind that it's gift season so all evergreen designs which would be like t-shirt designs that sell all year long will make sales right now because people are buying t-shirts as gifts for people they're just buying gifts just because right and at christmas time it's gift giving season and it's crazy how the amount of t-shirt sales and uh, products sold in Q4. Now, some of these niches that I share with you, you want to hurry up before the competition catches on. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get into the content. Something I, I want to go over too is everything that I found in this video was I was using Merchant Farmer and let me show you what I like to use. So I come over here to product research on the left hand side, brings a little drop down. We're going to be using Merch Hunter and Movers and Shakers. We pop open a tab for Mo Movers and Shakers and Merch Hunter. So for example, let's say we are coming in here into uh, Movers and Shakers and this is cool because it, there's a lot of good designs that are shared in here daily and just new ideas that you come in here and you're going to see and right below you're going to see these, these are the BSRs and you know, if it goes up, it makes a sell, it drops down. It, it, when it goes up and it drops down, it makes a sell. Same thing, drop down, make a sell. So the more of the up and down we see going on, the better. So let's come down and see what we can find. There is nothing I can do expect reach the, except reach the top shelf. I can't do that. So this so for that one short. So it's short niche, like short people niche. I think in that one, let's go down to, let's go down to, let's say, for example, let's say funny alien Halloween costume. You can see what they did here, but let's take uh let's take the, it's going to pop up, open up here on Amazon. That's a cool thing too. So, so all these are clickable. Come over here. Let's, let's take that and let's come over here into the keywords of merch hunter. So, and you can also to exclude all these brands if you're you know want to keep out Disney Star Wars, which is really cool. But we're gonna go ahead and just keep category shirts, marketplace US top 100, and you can filter any of these by using this. And then we're gonna hit search. This is all personal preference, but for this example, I'm gonna show you. And it's gonna basically take that keyword alien and it's going to filter all this. And usually you would have to dig into amazon.com and just take out all kinds of, you know, different, how would you say that different, different listings, go through the whole thing and making sure that the algorithm is, is giving you this and that. Now we're looking at BSRs. A lot of these BSRs, look at this, these BSRs are crushing 19,000, 19,000, 14,000, 23,000, 27,000, so one, 27,000, but it's just giving you anything with the keyword alien in the title. It's, it, it's, it's basically ripping it from amazon.com and but making it all organized for you it's a nice and clean right here these are all amazon merch products right down to the middle of the page we're still 50 kbsr that's a good sign that means that there is a demand inside of this niche but there's a lot of inspiration that you can get from this just by looking at all this there's a ton of good insp inspiration that can be done here look at this one get the alien hugging the cat which is pretty cool so and, and yeah it's, it's it's cool so this is how you know you can do research and come up with different inspiration come up, find the trending ideas in a niche which is very very big for you as if you're a designer or if you're trying to come up with new ideas this is an awesome way to leverage movers and shakers and merch hunter inside of merch informer so the first niche is going to be uh, the anime niche so just a girl who loves anime ramen and sketching now when you think of this, when you look at this right here, you can see that it has over 1,900 ratings, which is freaking amazing. You have a girl that is sketching. She's also eating ramen at the same time. You see how they combine these three niches, and you can see the color scheme that they got going on, right? Got an anime, uh, like an anime-themed character, and then you have like the pinkish nude type of color going on. So two different colors here, um, the white and the, that color, the new color, and um, it just standing out it's it, this is the thing right here that understanding the whole design right and putting it all together and making something that's really cool like this that's how you create a top selling design and stand out in the competition you know, and not only that you're kind of just diving in, in a little bit deeper into it right so people that actually enjoy ramen they like to sketch too they like sketching and this is a perfect example like art sketching just think of an idea that you can possibly come out with come up with and it has very little competition because, and then at the end of the day, this is how you create a top selling design that's an evergreen design and it just sells, especially going into Q4. Dang, it's gonna crush. The next niche is gonna be ugly Christmas sweaters. There's a there's a lot going on inside of this niche, but this is a funny like play off of it. This is my, it's too hot for ugly Christmas sweaters shirt. Now 371 ratings, 4.5 stars, but th this right here, this design right here is, it's just taking a funny pun and like turning it into more of a like a anti Christmas sweater type of niche, right? Which is really, really cool. I think it's a funny design. 
really cool. You got the reindeers, right? You still have like the, that ugly Christmas sweater theme, but it's a t-shirt, right? So it's, it's pretty cool. So just think of like the sweaters, think about, you know, t-shirts, think of funny designs. If you can come up with a new design in here, you can possibly create a top selling design inside of this niche. And just look at the BSR. You can just see it just cranking, crush it. Next niche is going to be a uh, funny chicken. Anything related to, if you can think of like a, guess what, chicken butt, right? This, this design's been around for many, many years, but you can tell by it has for over 4,000, 4,500, 4,859 ratings and a 4.7. It's simple. It's crazy simple, right? Uh, but you got the chicken showing the chicken, chicken butt, right? Guess what? Chicken butt, right? Which is really, really cool. And if you can think of a funny idea in the chicken niche, you can create a top selling design all year long long that that is literally that's what it is and then going into q4 you know that it's just gonna trend even more right and it's gonna make even more sales you can tell let's look at that little drop now this is gonna drop down but it's just gonna continue being pushed throughout q4 and christmas this is an evergreen design and but when it gets closer to the gift giving holiday season it's gonna crush it's gonna crush this is gonna be a funny shirt for you know some someone wearing at a thanksgiving dinner someone wearing at a christmas dinner whatever whatever you're celebrating this is a funny shirt just anywhere right next niche is gonna be bigfoot bigfoot has been selling since i've been doing amazon merch or just selling on print on demand just selling t-shirts in general it's been selling like crazy you got a bigfoot right here on the shirt it's pretty detailed you can see it looks like you got some a body you know look chest some abs this is what it looks like it's walking throwing up a, a, hand, a hand a hand gesture with some sunglasses so like kind of like a cool rock and roll theme sunglasses love love rock and roll sunglasses and then if we come down very simple right just a one simple graphic on a t-shirt right stuff like that the standalone graphics in any niche it does pretty good all time you're gonna see that you know it's cranking making sales but look at so like it's not like a it's not like a Christmas theme. Remember that. Keep that in mind too. It's 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 gift season, right? So once it gets closer to Christmas, look at it. Just drops down. The, the BSR is telling you the story right here that there's a demand for this niche. So if you can think of something in here and come up with something really cool, you can possibly create a really good design, and it will sell like this all year long. Especially when Christmas comes. Boom. Next one is I pause my game to be here. You are welcome. Now, I pause my game to be here. That's right. That saying right there is a popular saying now i like the fact that he basically like nine that's 90 percent of the design but then just went ahead and added to it a little bit more that's one way to get into a niche where you know you see a popular saying but if you can add to it like don't reinvent the wheel but adding to it by adding a few more words you can create a top selling design in a niche this has close to 900 ratings 9898 9, ratings this is the gamer niche if you can think of a funny gamer saying inside of the gamer niche you can possibly make tons and tons of sales like with gaming becoming more and more popular more of us that's an esport right and there's people are seeing how much like you're making millions, probably billions now. And now you got teams and you got leagues and it's all professional sports showing on TV. One of the most popular things on YouTube, right? There's a, a lot of people watch it. With that right there, we were showing that type of demand, right? You you're creating something like that, you can create something that will be an evergreen design. And just looking at the BSR, it's just cranking, making a ton of of sales next niche is going to be the exolato niche talked about this uh, niche a lot last year right but still it's one of the most popular niches uh, up and coming niches that's making sales one of the cool things you can see right here they're mixing exolato and ramen if you see something that it's like trending like and it's up and coming and you know, all of a sudden you see oh yeah that's a lot of for example the groovy text right we're seeing a lot of the that, that that's trending the rainbow stuff like that but then you're like if i can mix it with you know you know ramen's like popular but then if i can mix it with exolato you know i can create you know there's going to be a high demand for it with this you know new creature right and now i'm going to mix ramen with it that's the idea behind that right and this one has 755 ratings and then if we come down look at the bsr and like i said mixing the groovy you know, style font with this niche will probably be a good idea and ramen. But looking at this BSR, it's cranking. When you get closer to Christmas again, it, it goes down. Now it's going up. You can see it going up a little bit, but it's going to go down when you get closer to Christmas. That's just the way it works. Cool design. Simple. Basic. Cool. Funny Christmas saying. It's nice, naughty, innocent until proving guilty. This right here, you're seeing a lot of this being scaled out. But if you can think of a funny idea, that would be a good idea. Nice, naughty. It takes a little bit of brain power, but if you, once you create something that's original, taking like maybe taking this same concept and just switching out this bottom part right here until proven guilty, 
think of a different idea if you can do something like that it will be a really good idea for this t-shirt right here so it's it's funny sayings around christmas they do really really good especially going into q4 like that now's the time for it to be making sales and obviously you can tell looking at the bsr that's it's a proven track record and it's the data that i always look for when i see something like this like cool this is a top selling design this is going to make sales year after year after year after year next niche is going to be a barbecue grilling the grill father you're seeing what they're doing here right this is coming from the godfather i believe that's where it's coming from the idea here but they're, they turn it into the grill father which is pretty cool i like it a lot I like what they're doing you can see they have someone like the the grilling stuff the, the spatula and the fork right there and those are grilling tools which is a really really good idea pretty cool right and you can see 12 or 1200 ratings 4.7 but thinking of let's say just a this is a funny saying inside of this niche. There's there's probably a ton that you can do in here and just newer ideas. It, there's always going to be a demand, especially in like in July, like gr grill or barbecue season, like when bar going into barbecue season. But like in, you can tell, just look at this, like going into, you can see, yep, exactly what I'm saying. Going into, see, look at June. So June, you can see June, uh, obviously June is the barbecue season because it just drops in. But there's that barbecue time when, when you know, it starts to clear up and good weather is it's barbecue season. So it's like hits, it hits in June and then it hits again in, in Christmas. And then you can see that it just hits and it starts to rank and rank into the algorithm, push, 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 push. Right. So think about this. Like it's like almost so Christmas time for this niche in June, Christmas time. And obviously the sales start, let's put it this way. The, the sales start to trend in June and in December which is really, really cool because you're getting a lot of traction, getting a lot of reviews, and the algorithm's pushing this t-shirt organically, this niche organically, the t-shirt design, whatever you want to call it. Now, this one right here was flags of countries. I, I think just flags of countries of the world, international international gift, and which is a really cool idea. So, but they have like, you know, like the heart symbols, but I think it's just like coming together, you know, as countries, I think I see this right here. This is really cool. And I think there's a, there's a, there's a big demand here. And I think if you, if you look at this right here, you can, it's like a, I feel like it's an underserved niche. And if you can come up with different ideas, like what they did here, it, it'll be a, a really good idea for a t-shirt. 248 reviews, ratings, 1695, right? Good idea. Flags of country, countries, all the countries. And you come over here all time, you're going to see, yeah, look at that. That's crazy. Really nice. And obviously when it goes into Q4, it's going to trend down. It's going to make sales. Now this one right here, funny in my defense, I was left unsupervised. This niche right here, funny in my, in my defense, I was left. This niche right here, it's this, this, this design on a t-shirt, very simple, basic text base, right? Funny, sarcastic sayings. And just this one in general, if you can think of something that's very similar to this one, you can possibly create a top selling design and look at it. Just a simple text base. Like Sometimes we overthink. I feel like we overthink a lot of this stuff when it comes to creating a t-shirt design. Like you can create a t-shirt design in Canva and you can create something that's very simple, right? And it's just about being, doing it at the right time, thinking of the right idea, just understanding and, and, and going into some of these threads. I've showed a, f a few uh, videos already on my channel where you can go into, you know, a Twitter thread and you can see like people just leaving comments and, and saying certain things and then just be ready. Like, oh, that's a good t-shirt idea. This is a good t-shirt idea. This one's a good one. This is a good one. And just start getting to work and writing your ideas down. And then as we come down here, let's look at the all-time sales. It's, look at that. It just, it just continues to crank and, and just go, right? Getting a little closer, you can see the, the analytics a little better because we zoomed out, but it's starting to be, get pushed to the algorithm. It's hovering below 10K BSR, which is really cool, consistently going into Q4. All right, next niche is going to be uh, gnomes. Anything related around gnomes going into the holiday is going to do really, really good. Gnomes is Christmas. You can see in this one, Thanksgiving, and just, you know, sub niching it down to Thanksgiving nurse. And playing that theme, you're going to see exactly what they're doing inside of here. You got a pumpkin, you got a pumpkin pie i'm assuming that could, or just a pie in general and then you just got the three different gnomes dress each one's just dressed differently right and i got clipboard i think this is death that's can't even say that i think i said that right and you got a syringe right here and i got some leaves falling down so it's like a theme like a, a, a thanksgiving theme for nurses right so think of other things so Christmas for nurses or just even general, anything general around gnomes. Think of your own idea. Think of something original. It can't be that hard when you have, you know, the gnomes, dress up the gnomes and do something and just put a theme behind it and make it more passionate for that individual, that target audience who you're targeting with that design that increases your chances of making a sale. Now, as we come down here, 
and you're going to see like, look, like it's, it's selling, it's selling. And then, you know, obviously going into getting into like, like this year start, started selling in June, but then it's just started being consistent and started ranking to the algorithm. And it seemed like it's pushing it even more than ever. Yeah. Which is really, really cool because the BSR is lower from last year, which is really, really nice. The next niche is going to be the guitar niche. I like what they did right here. It's a rock and roll niche. All right. We got the, the, the skeleton, uh, it's like, it's a shape, like at a good, the end of the guitar, right? You get the skeleton the fingers, you know, throwing up a hand gesture, which is really cool because, and by looking at rock on guitar, neck, rock and roll, Halloween, skeleton, anything, you know, Halloween, skeleton, skeleton, anything with skeleton and Halloween, they go really, really good together. But now you're like just mixing the guitar. It's like a few different, it's like your Halloween, skeleton, guitar. You're going down a little bit deeper. Very something, very simple, very cool. 517 ratings. And then I'll think about just other instruments around you know, rock and roll, certain things like drums, anything you can think of, like you can, there's microphones, right? There's so much that can be done in here. If we come down here and look at this BSR, you can see that every single time going into Q4, right? It just, it the BSR drops and then throughout the whole year it seems to make sales. And so if you look at the nice last 90 days, you can see that it's, if you're new to this, this when it goes up and then it starts to drop, it's that means it's making sales. When it starts to drop, making sales. It goes up a little bit, that means it's not making sales and then it starts to make sales. So when you see it drop, it makes sales, sales. It's probably making with that low B, BSR, probably making one or two sales a day consistently but now we're going in it's going to stop drop dropping even more and making more sales inflation the next niche is inflation due to inflation this is my ugly christmas sweater i'm seeing a lot of this like halloween costume due to inflation this is my halloween costume christmas sweater what else is there halloween costume thanksgiving shirt christmas sweater i'm seeing a lot of that going around and especially with things that are right now like in certain areas in the u.s things are the most expensive right now. Like we thought they were getting expensive last year, but now they're even more expensive. Like within the last few weeks or last few, last few weeks, everything has gone up, especially like gas prices and, and like food and all that stuff. Everything has gone up even more, like a dollar more, right? This is crazy. Cause you're going like before you used to go out spend $150 at the grocery store. And now you find yourself spending more than that to you're spending like 200, right? 250 230 around there just to get what you would usually get out of anywhere between 100 to 150 dollars you're spending more than that because prices have increased so this is a popular niche right now it's trending right now it's there's more of a demand for something like this because it's happening and it's uh once it's happening people talk about it more and more and then you turn into a neat a big niche i'm not sure what the heck happened here with this bsr i've been seeing a, a few of these where they just spike up I'm not sure. And then it just drops down like that, which is weird. And then it starts to drop down and it makes sales. Like the algorithm is like, huh? Oh, this is a, a top selling design at one point. Oh, let me just drop it down. And oh, let me do something else with the catalog, Amazon. And then boom. And then it starts to make sales. I don't know. I'm not sure what the heck is going on right there. Now, obviously you can tell they're messing with things by looking at that, um, but no, you can see with the candy cane, you got the little, little hat going on over here. More candy canes, more candy canes on the bottom with some Christmas lights in there. Really cool shirt. Good design. You can see what they're trying to, you know, obviously. Inflation, Christmas sweater, good idea. Next niche, Dear Santa, my brother did it. Funny Christmas, like naughty Christmas niche. Dear Santa, my brother did it. Dear Santa, my sister did it. Dear Santa, my stepbrother did it. Dear Santa, my dad did it. Dear Santa, my wife did it. Dear Santa, my husband did it. You know what I mean? Like, you, there's so much that can be done here. So think of different ideas that can you can do, like with Dear Santa. And you know what I mean? Dear Santa, I drank the tequila bottle. Dear Santa, you know what I mean? I was naughty or something like that, right? There's certain things that can be done here. So think of a few ideas. There's a ton that can be done here. I'm, not, I'm actually happy that I'm sharing this with you because there's so many ideas within certain niches. And understanding that and just taking a little bit more effort and brain, brain, brain power to think of a certain niche, that's the way it's done. And that, that's, the way, that's the way it is. And you got a Santa hat, Christmas tree, white text. Got some bells in there, snowflake stars, really cool design, real good. It takes up that whole design space, which is really cool. Come down here, all time sales. You guys, yep, yep, making the sales during the, you know, obviously it's trending down and it's doing that thing right now with the algorithm where it spikes all the way up, all the way up. And then I feel this one is gonna do the same exact thing. It's gonna obviously like in the next week or so or two weeks, it's gonna turn back down the algorithm. Like this is a good t-shirt design. Let me push this into the algorithm, okay? Now the next niche is going to be uh, balding. With a body like this, who needs hair? So funny sayings about balding. This is really, really cool. Text-based, look at it, 118 ratings. There's a demand for it. 
people love this type of t-shirt but you know like as you know men like the people bald and they there's a joke around people joke with people that they start to go bald but if you can take it into and, and and take it into a positive and turn it into something funny it'll be really cool it's a good idea i love it and i think, I think it's cool and it's simple look how simple it like anybody can create this type of design right but just taking the concept of someone making fun of somebody and then turning it into a positive right and which is cool and wait, let's look at the bsr and look at the demand the numbers don't lie. This is just telling you like there's a de there's a damn demand in this niche, and then there's sales to be made here. But look at it and going into Q Q4, it's trending down. Boom! It's gonna be a top selling design design, and then not only that, it's gonna give more ratings. It's gonna probably be over 200 ratings by the end of the year. Can't get any more reviews, more traction, and then it comes around next year. It's gonna do the same thing. This is a good. This is gonna happen all the time. This is a design that can be. An, it's an evergreen niche, and how can you tell by looking at the BSR? The, the, the data, the information, really awesome niche. If you can create something in here, do it. Freaking cool niche. Now, Cat Daddy, the, you got that vintage. It says 80 style cat retro distressed. This this design has been has been selling for a while. 3,000 reviews, ratings. This is one of the designs. I was like, dang, like this design's crushing. It's been crushing it for a few years, which is really cool. So Cat Daddy, Cat Dad, and just think of, you know, like, animals and dad and mom you know what i mean there's there's a lot can do you can be done here so just think of ideas think of different things and ne new niches anything that i'm sharing with you in this video you can come up and just cross niche it be a good idea there's like there's a ton that can be done here and if you're unaware like there's the cats dogs the, those niches just did they crush any 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 dogs or any anything like that anything that you can think of you see like on any social media platform that's getting a ton of traction and engagement there is a demand for that you're not even paying attention you're not even noticing like well this thing has is going viral this has over a thousand likes or you know a thousand hearts on face on tiktok or facebook or instagram and you don't realize it but there's a t-shirt idea somewhere in there there's always a t-shirt idea somewhere in there so think about that when you're thinking about all this stuff there's a ton that can be done and looking at this bsr you can see go back into 2019 all right it, it's cranking crushing and then it goes up and then it cranks and just crushes and then just boom it's doing its best ever this year amazing that's awesome. The next niche is going to be Pluto. Planet Pluto. Funny. But never forget Pluto. And 1930, 2006. Retro style. Funny space science. And like, you know, this is an idea. This is an idea. But this is obviously, this is the main idea here with this. But these are like the general. And there's a lot can, that can be created inside these niches. Both of these niches, right? And this is more of like the sub niche. But Pluto, funny designs, like your funny just type of designs around this niche that can, there's, there's, there's still stuff out there that you can create around this. Especially if you can think of an idea that you can mix Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, anything around that, it'd be a good idea. You can get away with something like that and create a really cool niche, cool design with that. That'd be dope. Got that retro style in the background. Got Pluto. Sim simple. Nothing too crazy about it, but it's selling. It's been up for a while, but it's just consistently making sales. 90 days. Look at that. 30 days. Just still making sales freaking awesome i love designs like this by the way when i see like this when i look at this when i see designs that have been up for five years four years i love that it just it's cool because this is one of the reasons why i do print on demand see stuff like that it's like that's exactly what i look for i, w I want that because i want to design i want to create a design like this i'm pretty sure you do too we all do i think this is cool all right next niche is going to be a t-rex t-rex anything anything that you can think of t-rex christmas through halloween uh thanksgiving new year anything that you, easter like any of the bigger niche any big niche holiday anything that most likely is going to work that's just the way it is because it's just the, there's a demand for this dinosaurs like it's cool like cool right especially like you know yeah can, and adults wear this shirt boys even girls right girls even you know it's like that's the thing too it's like trending a little bit more like little girls and boys you know boys you know obviously love t-rex but little girls there's little girls out there that love t-rexes too so think about that too like a different color t-rex not just a green color make a cool purple one a cool pink one right make stuff like that 292 ratings you have a tree rex and it's basically tree rex t-rex tree rex so dressing up as a christmas tree holding a present with a star on top of his head the lights wrapped around him really good idea i'm pretty sure if you've seen it been on amazon you did some research you've probably seen this design but you can tell that this bsr it's like a roller coaster it's wee <laughs> and but it, it's a consistent seller every single year for christmas which is dope and that's exactly what we look for really awesome next niche is going to be i love this is going to be called i love niche i love you're going to see i love my girlfriend i love my boyfriend i love my grandma i love my dad i love my 
mama, you, you, the, it goes on and on and on and on. If you can find something and think of or even adding to it or you're just switching up a few words and creating your own design, it has 1,041 ratings and it's a simple design. The element with the heart, something, it's crazy simple. There's nothing too crazy about it. It's, it, it's anyone can do this type of design, but there's just a demand for it. Like, I love New York. I love Los Angeles. You know what I mean? That's been around for a while, but I love my girlfriend. Like, this is, it's a cool shirt. And I've talked about this and broke this niche down in a previous video on my channel. And it's, you know, the concept of it, simple, but it's cool. And by looking at the BSR, it's getting, it's getting that extra push. You see that drop down and it's getting pushed into the algorithm even more. All right. Next niche is going to be here because you broke something. T-shirt standard, standard text-based design. Right. And I like how they made the font very big on the shirt to take up the whole design space on Amazon merch, the mock up. You can see that when you're looking at different shirts and you're sc scrolling on Amazon.com, it makes it easier for this customer to read it. And they're like, cool, this is a good t shirt. It's funny. Let me click on it. Right. Like, it just makes sense. We don't got that analytic, but it does make a lot of sense to me personally. 4.8, 455 ratings. And the niche is mechanic. That's the me that's the mechanic niche, right? And then if we come down here and we look at all time, you're going to see that it's a very consistent selling shirt throughout all of the years, which is really awesome. And then Q4 just boom, starts to the, the, the BSR starts to nose dive down and make even more sales. Next niche is going to be ice hockey straight out of the penalty box straight out of the penalty box ice hockey you know straight out of it was right that's a very popular saying but i like how they you know use the straight out of and then you know mix it with a sport like hockey if you can mix it with baseball football anything like that it is going to do really really good now this one the rating is 1087 4.8 so you can see what they did here with the hockey sticks and the puck and then the penalty box. I got that, that, you know, that classic square for the straight out of, which is really cool. Really nice design, all white. So it looks good on the darker colors. You can see, right? And then if we come down here, we look at the BSR. We say, let's say last, the last year, the year. So if you look at for the year, look at that. Last year, it trended down. And then what's happening this year? It's starting to trend down again. So it seems like it's trending down in April too. It goes down in April. Let's see all time. See if, we'll see if it does that normally. It just stays consistent throughout the whole time it's been up. But every time, and you can tell in, during Christmas time, it just shoots all the way down. Really cool. Next niche is going to be fishing. So you got the American flag. You got the fishing pool right there. Fishing, vintage, fisherman. The ratings, that's crazy. 4,739 ratings. So it's, you know, it's it's been up for a while. I'm assuming just by looking at that, 4.7 and it's like, you know, this design, we've seen a lot of this. If you've been doing a lot of research, maybe so say last year, you know that this is a really popular design. So like, how can you even get into a niche like this? It's literally one of the best ways to do something like that is whatever's trending now. So for example, like the groovy font or if any of the, the rainbow style designs, anything like that, or any new funny or sayings, and you can cross niche with like the fishing niche, it'll be a good idea. If you can come up with a good idea, you can you know, obviously go into this niche to, with a high demand, a lot of competition, you can get in here and start making sales and get in front of that traffic that, you know, this person's getting in front of. Because if you look at the BSR, it's look at that. At one point it was like 703, you said something right there. I'm not sure if you've seen that, but it's look at, it's just cranking, cranking, making sales over and over and over and over and over. You see like the last 90, it's like pretty much making sales almost like every other day, every day. So it's a, that's definitely a winning design. And then you're going to see that in 22 too, as in Christmas comes around, it just drops all the way down. And then in the summertime, it drops all the way down again. So real nice design. So the next niche is like funny elf sayings, elf family. You can see the Christmas PJs matching. Now you can see like big families taking pictures by the Christmas tree with matching shirts. This is a really good idea. About three years ago, I went into this niche and scaled it out, like where I was just creating a ton of different designs, just scaled out designs. I think I want to say like 2019. And I actually had some good designs that make sales to this day. It's crazy in, in Q4. So it's pretty cool. Real cool niche. If you can think of a new or funny saying, you can apply it to this. I'm not an elf. I'm just short. The elf hat with the elf feet, with the shoes, right? It's a... Uh, it's a good design. It's cool. And it's going to continue making sales over and over every single year. It just because it's funny. There's there's it's it's it's, a, it's cool. It's a this a cool design. 4.6 ratings, 165. 4.6 stars, 165 ratings. Come down and we look at this BSR. You know, 
Look at that. Just trends all the way down for Christmas. And it's crazy because you look at this, it looks like it's selling throughout the year too, which is, I think, just elf jokes, right? People have their little elf jokes, but it's selling throughout the year too. And then it just goes into Q4 and it starts to crush. Next niche is going to be uh, the sarcastic niche. I'm sorry. Did I roll my eyes out loud? Now, funny, sarcastic, anything with the funny humor, sarcastic saying on a t-shirt. And this is an all white text based, simple, simple text on a t-shirt. Anything like this, you can definitely just, it'll make sales because people, like if someone reads this shirt in public, they're just smiling and laughing and like, oh, this person, right? So I think it's a, it's a, it's a cool, it's a cool design, simple, nothing crazy. One thing that I recommend too, if you have a top selling design like this, if you can put the set of all white, do the text all black, and then you can make it look good like on a white t-shirt because white t-shirts do sell any, and then any of the color, the lighter colors, they do look really good with the black text on it. And then all time, you're gonna see the all time just cranking. It's got one. And I like to see this, like look at like the first year, right? And then like the second year and then the, the third year. And then you go into like the fourth year, you're gonna see it just disdain consistently, consistent with sales, which is really dope because this design is probably made probably over $5,000 it's been up the whole time, right? Probably more, probably 10. One design, text base, which is cool. The next niche is going to be the ramen niche. Right now, ramen is really, really popular as it starts to get colder. And like throughout the year too, it's popular too. But as it gets colder, it starts to, um, it just starts to get more and more popular because people want to have more of like soups and stuff and pho too. You know that full, well, from looking at the last time I looked at the, the Google trends, ramen is more popular than pho. But ramen right now, like I said, going into, like it's, as it get colder, it starts to trend up and go, you know, it gives a little bit more of a trend. And then you're mixing it with like a, the holiday Q4. Dude, it's like, it's a kill. Like you can make a ton of sales inside this niche if you create something that's really cool. Now you can see how they mix ramen and cat and then kawaii anime Japanese. You can see what exactly what they did here. Nothing too crazy about the design at all. It's like a simple it's it's pretty cool. Five thousand eight hundred twenty-four ratings, four point seven out of five. And as we come down, it like there's like this is a simple design. But with that being said, it's probably one of the first designs into this niche. So you can tell, like, look at the the, the design itself, it's just consistently selling. And look at that. That's a cool BSR. That's what you know, that's as I'm looking at this type of stuff, I'm just like, dude, that's cranking. Next niche is gonna be uh boba tea. Now cat boba tea now boba tea and animals like, like we just seen the previous one with the ramen ramen and you know animals work really good and now boba and animals seem to work really good too as well same concept but you know obviously they have a, a boba tea is the drink right there that they the animal has in his or her hand and that's a it's a it's a pretty cool design right looking at this you're going to see that it's 1500 ratings 4.7 out of 5 and then if we come down you know see the colors on the t-shirt i like this right here something you kind of pay attention to a little bit more it's like adding the black and then you have the white in the same listing you see how it looks good on black and white i think just you know think about it that way they come out of listing like maybe someone wants it on the white t-shirt you know or the pink t-shirt but choosing like some of the most popular colors in here will probably trigger the algorithm if you have a good design it starts to make sales it seems like it, it may give it a little bit of boost right which is pretty cool now we look at all time look at that it just consistently selling. it seems like it's just staying yeah it's staying under 100k bsr consistently which is amazing that's pretty good that's pretty dang good and you can see in q4 going into q4 it's already so you know having a boost in sales the next niche is bidia bidia right here this is uh this is coming more popular and popular inside of mexican restaurants if you're unaware of that this is a i want to say like an underserved niche right now because there's a there's a few different things that you can do inside here that i don't see on amazon which is really cool but like I said, like this is like the trend right now in Mexican restaurants. A lot of people are like, hey, are you making Bidia? And probably if you go search it, it'll probably show that, you know, it's uh, it's 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 doing pretty good. You see like a lot of Mexican restaurants adding it to their menu. Before there wasn't a big thing, but now they're kind of making it the center of the tension of their menu. And funny sayings around Bidia, think of me like Mexican uh, restaurants, Bidia, different ways you can eat Bidia, the different ways you can cook it, beef, goat. There's, there's a few different things that can be done here. Now you come in here, you're gonna see it, but like it's made one sale, this seems two sales, but the thing is, like I said, this is a newer, newer trend, newer niche. I can see something like this doing really good going into Q4 or just even all year round. So Bidia, keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for that. If you're going to the Mexican restaurant, see if they have Bidia. Next niche is gonna be anxiety. My neck, my back, my anxiety attack. You gotta opossum laying on its back with the retro style white text you know that has that little arch on it and then the opossum in there laying down and then bottom of the text right there real cool design 
right? Anxiety. I've talked about this a little bit on my channel, the anxiety niche. It's a very popular niche and it's it's starting to trend upwards and it's 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 cranking right now. So stuff related stuff created around anxiety, cute pun sayings around anxiety. People will end up buying stuff like this because they can relate to it or they think it's a funny. It makes them smile. They like it. 53 ratings, 4.9 out of five, right? And then we come over here, look at the all-time BSR. Look at that. That's consistently selling and starting to rank it. And then look at, as it drops down, it's starting to the nose dive down and it's starting to trend and make more and more sales going into Q4. Next niche is going to be math. Math, the only place where people buy 66 watermelons and no one wonders why. Got the picture. I mean, a graphic of a watermelon, right? Cut. Pretty cool. I like it. It's, it's a funny saying because, you know, you know, you did, it, it's basically the ma math I mean, like the equate like the math calculations and how they do this tell the story in a little two sentences right um the math niche is a very very popular niche it's gonna make serious sales all year long and if you can think of a funny saying or think of anything um that would be good on a t-shirt you could do it um there's so many different types of you know designs out there that are pretty cool and you're like dude where the heck did this come from and then next thing you know it turns into a top selling design you wouldn't even you never even think it would do that and it ends up doing that it's a i want to say it's like one of the most popular t-shirt design niches online because they're they're creating like off the wall stuff and it turns into a top selling design which is cool but you see what they did here they mixed it with watermelons right math and watermelons watermelons are popular and i think it's like it's a cool idea and if you like math and you like watermelon like do you see how it's targeting that specific person and boom 162 ratings 4.6 out of 5 reviews come over here look at all time sales 2021 and then you can just see just consistently making sales and then as of 22 2 it just starts to rank even lower and then 2023 right you get into there just just stays consistent and it's hovering around 100k 200k psr then in q4 it just dropped all the way down next niche is going to be the saxophone any any type of musical instrument it'll be really good but the saxophone it was it was standing out to me i was like oh this is a cool design saxophone the instrument for intelligent people you got the picture of the graphic of a saxophone right there. You see the color scheme they got going on, which is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Good design. Taking up the whole design space on Amazon merch. And saxophonist t-shirt. 11 ratings. 3.8 out of 5 reviews. And then if we come down, look at all-time sales. So it's interesting. It's making sales. And then it starts to make sales again. And then the algorithm. It does some weird stuff with the algorithm. Once again, I'm not sure what the heck's going on, but it's it dropped down for Q4 and it's being pushed, right? So the saxophone niche. Next niche is going to be the teenager niche. 13th birthday official teenager boy, 13 year math, 13th birthday. So officially, you'll turn thir uh, when you when you turn 13, you're a teenager, and uh, it'd probably be different from everyone, right? I think that would be, <laughs> but uh, everyone probably has their own. Oh yeah, well, no, I turned teenager when I was eight. Well, I'll turn teenager when I was 14. Right? I think I think it all it all varies, right, to each generation. But this is this is an interesting like t-shirt design. I think it's like official teenager. So warning: official teenager may contain attitude, right? Which is cool, like because your teenage years, right? You're a little bit, right? You're you got a little bit of attitude, a little spunk to you. And and you're always like, you know, hopefully you don't, you know, you don't get in trouble <laughs> before you turn 18 and you, know, you keep some type of, keep some stuff under control and you don't stay out of trouble. But this is a cool, I think this is a cool design in, in, in the niche itself, right? There's a ton that can be done here. You can see exactly what they did. They have the warning, the warning sign. And if you come down and look at the BSR, it's cranking, making sales consistently. And then Q4, boom, just getting the boost, right? This niche right here, I think it's a very, very popular niche. And there's a lot that can be done in here. Any type of funny sayings, anything like that. This is going to be a really good niche for someone to dive into. Next niche is going to be like funny sayings for husbands. Father's Day, it's not easy being my wife's arm candy. Husband t-shirt, 298 ratings, 4.8 out of 5. Simple text base. But it's a, you know, a funny saying about, for, you know, for the husband to wear a saying about his wife, which is really cool. Cool design, simple text base, nothing too crazy about it, but a funny saying, right? Probably makes people laugh when the individual's wearing it. Consistent, a consistent seller. And then you're going to see like every time going into Q4, it's the sales are dropping. All right, making those sell. Next niche is going to be computers, funny cats and computers. I work on computers. So computers and then mixing 
you know, an animal can, cats, dogs, anything like that. There's several different types of dogs. There's several different types of cats. If you can do something like this, you can create a top seller in a niche. There's nothing too crazy about this design, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good design, right? I feel like there's a lot that can be done here. Ratings, 209 ratings, 4.8 out of 5 reviews. And if you come down all the time, you can see that it's a consistent seller. Last 90 days, look at that sell sell every time it drops remember keep in mind it goes up drops sells 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 now depending you know how low the bsr is that's it can vary between one cell to two cells three cells four cells five cells a day and you go into the busier holiday season you're probably doing over 10 cells a day next niche is going to be black cat you're mixing black cat with christmas and black cat pushing over the christmas tree what funny funny any funny sayings around black cats it's it'd be a, it's a good idea you get the cat dressed up as you know has it well you get the cat dressed up with that little santa hat on with the scarf and then pushing over the christmas tree with the ornaments and just saying what cool design I like it a lot. The sassy type of design, right? Sassy kind of, I got the cats are sassy and they do stuff to, you know, mess around. And then every single, you can see every single, you can see, you can tell when it's a uh, Christmas time because it's our Q4 season because it just drops. And throughout the year, it seems to make sales consistently too, which is interesting because it's like Christmas theme, right? But it's making sales consistently throughout the year. Huh. Next one is going to be the wrestling niche. Free hugs. You got a wrestler obviously doing like a suplex. I think that's a suplex on another wrestler. I believe that's what it is. 403 ratings, 4.7 out of 5. Cool design, all time. And you're going to see it. Consistent seller every Q4. And then also, too, it drops down like, no, I thought I seen it drop down. Uh, February kind of does a little, a little drop, but it's pushing. It's cranking right now. It's gonna, it looks like it's going to be the best year ever for this design, which is cool. And it's been up for a while. That's a good sign. And then just keep in mind, just to reassure you guys, like, you know, I'm showing you these designs. It's not to copy like the design. Don't copy the design pixel for pixel. Do not do that. That's like, that's not how you play this type of game. And that's not how you make sales. And that's not how you make a top seller in a niche. The goal is to create something, come up with your own concept, get the idea. And like, this is a cool design. Like maybe I can create something like this. I can do something like this. It takes a little bit of brain power to think of new designs, new sayings, stuff that works in certain niches. And if you're not doing that, then this is not going to be a long-term play for you. You're most likely going to get your account suspended because it's like, it's, a, it's, 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 once you get a strategy down and apply it and you keep being consistent at it, that's, you know, that's how you create good selling t-shirts. Just by the way, just to reassure sure you. High, Highland Cal, Scottish, cute Scotland lovers. You got a, you know, it looks like a baby cute Highland Cal. This is a very popular niche right now. I actually came across this niche on TikTok. I was just over there just, just love watching videos, watching different things. And then I was like, came across this. I was like, Oh dude, this is, a, this is cool. This will be a good idea to add into my, my Q4 research on YouTube. This will be a really good idea. So I came across this and boom, 39 ratings, 4.7 out of five. And then if we come down, look at all time BSR, you're going to see, ooh, look at this. See, when I see stuff like this, when I'm doing research on different platforms and, and on social media, just looking at see what people like and if what's popular, you know, if a video has a certain amount of likes and then I come over here and do some research on Amazon just to reassure it. This is one way to reassure, like you're looking at the BSR, but then sometimes you'll find those hidden niches. Like there's, there's no demand for this over here. Hmm. What's going on? Maybe I need to start creating some, you know, some new designs for this niche. And that's how you do it. Especially with TikTok. It's one of the most popular platforms right now. And you doing research over there is one way, right, to do research and come up with different ideas. So don't say there's no way, there's no new ideas out there. There's plenty of them. You just got to get to work, get your butt to work, right? Now, this is one of the niches in the past that freaking the, you know, the total solar eclipse. This was one of the niches that crushed, I think, when I first got into this. I think it was like 2018, 2019, I want to say. But this niche right here, like some, well, there's a few people that I know that their shirt went viral all over the internet and started cranking. If you're unaware of this, this is for a April 8th, 2024. It's coming. This is going to be one of those niches that are, it's, you can see it's fairly new with the ratings. That's going to, it's going to trend and it's going to be pushing like crazy. That has a big potential because in the past I've seen shirts where they're selling like 500 a day, 300 a day. This is a niche that you can create that viral shirt that can probably make you a thousand dollars a day just based off of the previous time that this happened. And if we come down, look at, the, no, look at this right here. So 4-8, April 4-8, and then 2024, right? That's the date. You got a person standing right here in front of the eclipse. If you don't know that that is, look that up. Do a little bit more research on your end. I'm doing some research over here. I'm going to uh, create a few designs for this niche. I think it's going to be a really popular niche. And I, I definitely believe that if you created a good t-shirt design, you can create a design that can make you over $1,000 for this niche. Okay. 
we come over here you can see that it's it's interesting because they probably seen a news article on this for 409 so like probably like a new because it's 408 right and you can see that they probably seen a news article on this so they probably see like next year from like you know next year from now they're gonna the total eclipse is coming or something like that and look at and because it made it sell 409 right and then all of a sudden it just starts to make sales and starts to crank and make more sales and then going into q4 is getting a full push this so this is something um that i would definitely hop on to like this is a this is some good research that i'm sharing with you guys it's a really amazing and i think if you get in front of this you could definitely make do some damage and make some good money off of this now apple picking crew white t-shirt got the green got the red apple green apple um it's apple picking season so right and then so the, the people wearing matching shirts bobbing for apples picking apples i think this is a really good idea good family picture matching family picture cute apples really cool really cool design apple pickle apple picking season though for sure this is a good niche um all time you come over here you can see that uh, this is a mm, from last year but you know it's this started making sales and started making more consistent sales but this is more of a like a newer niche but i think it's it's a cool niche if you can create a design in here uh, you can potentially you know start to make sales in something that's a you know, a little bit lower competition, not too many designs over here, but there's plenty of room for you to make sales inside of this niche. Next niche is going to be a cancer, breast cancer survivor. You got a, a woman flexing, you got the, the pink ribbon. It stands for, you know, the, the, the pink ribbon, cancer survivor, white, that looks good on a white t-shirt. Now, some people are like, you know, certain things like as far as like awareness, awareness type of things. Amazon seems to be with awareness, like sort of like breast cancer awareness, like that, for example. They seem to be, there's a ton, there's a few shirts on there that have been up there for many, many years, and they seem to be with this this niche that's not like a, I don't want to say like a human tragedy. They don't see it that way. It's a bring more bringing on awareness to a niche. I'm not sure why. Huh. I'm not sure why the BSR is not popping up. There's obviously some cells in here. Let me go ahead and open up this one because this seems like this one's uh, generating some cells. Fighting breast cancer, cancer aware, warrior, Okay, uh, pink. You can see, you know, the design. You can see it's pretty much the same design here, and it's just but it's just on Survivor Warrior. They just switched up the the Warrior, and they have the Survivor. Same same design to switch up the saying on the arm when she's flexing. We look at the all time. You see 2020, but then look at it's starting to make its most sales this year, and it's starting to trend downwards for Q4, which is really really cool, right? Now next niche is going to be uh, Native Americans. Native Americans discovered Columbus anti Columbus day so they're they're against columbus day and this is more that's what they're targeting and more of like native americans discovered columbus now the niche is native american there's a ton that can be done inside of this niche there's some there's some there's some really cool illustrations out there just graphic more detailed just of a native american that are really really cool if you can create something like that you can definitely make sales inside of this niche like create a dope t-shirt for somebody if you have a friend that's a Native American, that would be work really good too as well. I just ask them a few different ideas, what you think would be a, a, a good type of design, right, for them. And that's that's like one way to get into uh, certain niches. Like you can ask people around you, like, hey, what do you think would be cool? Like what would be a good design? You know what I mean? I know that you're a Native American. Like what, can you give me an idea and maybe I can create you a cool t-shirt that you can buy or vice versa. It can be like any, it can be something else a different niche like you know the person that's good at baseball you know a person that's good at football you know a person that enjoys watermelon right there's so many different things and you're like hey give me some few give me a few ideas please it would be a good idea for a t-shirt so we look at the all-time sales you can see that it's consistent right it's consistently making sales which is really cool and i feel like when it gets closer to like columbus day this is going to be more of a you know it's going to trend a little bit more and have that retro style effect with the lettering too simple text space 1492 taking up the whole um design space too as well but yeah, next niche is going to be uh, scuba diver, scuba diving instructor underwater. I go down just saying you got a, a retro style scuba diver going down, which is really cool. Awesome niche. Uh, I think it's a funny design and something like this and just mixing scuba dive funny. You can create something that's really cool. It looks like it doesn't have any ratings. Well, let's see what this BSR is looking at that distraction. So this is a newer design. It's made a sell last month. Eight. 26 2023 it's made its first sell second sell and then a third sell and then let's see how this does but i think it's a, a good design and i think it ha does have the chance to pick up and make more sales i like it a lot for q4 leveraging q4 too keep in mind even though it doesn't show a lot of data how do you think some of the top selling designs that i'm sharing with you with the crazy bsrs that are going off they started off like this at one point too so keep that in mind when you're looking at this and you're thinking this design is not doing nothing why is it in the video it does this design has the potential of you know making a lot of sales every single design if you create a good design 
Every single design has the potential of coming in an evergreen, consistent selling design in a niche. Next one, this was a cool one I came across. Relax, the housekeeper is here. Housekeeping, housekeeper, cleaner job, cleaning. So housekeeping or housekeeper, there's a few different ways that you can see it, say it. I think this is a really cool because it's so crew and then, you know, buying for, so if you have a business of five or six people, someone sees this t-shirt design, they buy it for their whole crew. You know, that's cool. Like a for five, six different shirt sales, right? Three, three shirt sales, two shirt sales, whatever it is. You have like the, the, like the lighter blue and white, and you got some cleaning stuff here that looks like the gloves. And I think this is like a duster right there. It's a real cool design, simple, nothing too crazy. Let's look at the all time. Made its first sale this month, right? One, two. Okay. So it's making sales, but I think this is an interesting niche right here. Probably like an under, underserved niche. Anything, any type of a cleaner, cleaning, cleaning job, housekeeping, anything like that. Probably an underserved niche. Look into this. Next niche is going to be uh, poker. Royal Spade, Flush, Skeleton, King, Queen. So they have the skeleton designs on the cards, which is pretty cool. And it just the poker niche in general, right? It's a you know there's a big demand for that. You'll see, you see the tournaments online. I mean on online, yeah, online. You'll see them on TV. You'll see that, you know, these big events, look on YouTube, TikTok, you'll see a ton of big events going on around poker or any type of card game. You'll see some, you know, different types of card games that are out there, not just one. So just keep that in mind, poker, and then you think of other card games, think of cool designs around that. Three ratings, 4.0 out of 5, 16.99. All time sales. Let's see. It's consistently selling over here. Making sales. It's not like right here, there's, there's no just sell right there, but then it starts to consistently rank down going into Q4. Let's see what it does. Because technically, as of this year, this design sold the most. So it's starting to rank more and more into the algorithm, right? It's a good sign, especially this part right here. It made sales consistently over and over. Now it looks like it's going down and getting pushed into the algorithm. Now, so there's pumpkin spice. Groovy Halloween pumpkin spice fall autumn hippie t-shirt. Now you get a pumpkin holding, it looks like a, a coffee, right? Or they're they're looking at each other. They're holding hands. They look like they're holding hands. I'm not sure what the heck is going on right there. It looks like he's pointing at him and then he has, I don't know sure what the heck is that. Ah, but anyways, the design, it's a cool design. Pumpkin spice. If you love pumpkin spice, you know, you love, you know, obviously this is your, this is your, this is your flow, but I, as of lately, I've been seeing a lot of anti pumpkin spice. People are, are against pumpkin spice, which is interesting because there's always like the people that like it, and there's always the people that don't like it. And then there's the people that are like, ah, it's all right. So there's like three different niches, right? That I just mentioned, right? You can see what they're doing. You know, you got the multi colored, like the, the autumn, fall type of color going on. You got the pumpkin, you got a coffee right there. That's what it looks like. And then you got the checkered background. You got some leaves in there. Same thing here. Uh, then as we go down, you got the little arch on the text too, by the way. Uh, and go down. Let's see all-time sales. It's made its first sale this this month, 06. And then as you go in, you made another sale. So it's, I think this, is, this obviously has the potential to make sales. I'm not sure what that is right there. I'm not too sure. Maybe you can you know, help me out in the comments with that, what the heck that is. But this is a good, this is a good uh, t-shirt design. Now, with that being said, as we come over here, now, like I said, anti, right? So the next niche is going to be anti, you know, I hate pumpkin spice. Yeah, I said it, right? This is a interesting niche. I seen some, some sayings like I, what is it? I read, I, I hate pumpkin spice. I rather have tamales or tamales. I'm, I'm not here for pumpkin spice. I'm here for tamales, stuff like that. See certain sayings like that are, so you're relating pumpkin spice to a certain time. Uh, or certain a different type of food or a different type of beverage that can be you know I don't like pumpkin spice I'm I'm waiting for eggnog or something like that right and so there's a you think of different ideas like that and you can possibly come into a, create a new niche and 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 based off of pumpkin spice and you're, you hate it right you can create something that would be funny that would be really good and maybe I hate pumpkin spice I'm waiting for my apple pie right something like that that'd be a good idea next one is going to be a hot air balloon this is a cool niche i love hot air balloons you have black and white really cool i like how they they made the design to where it looks good on all the lighter color t-shirts and all the darker color t-shirts i like that idea right there vintage hot air balloon and ballooning design sky adventure the retro hot air balloon got the trees on the bottom right there a little too low to the trees I want to say put it up a little higher, right? I'm just kidding. Now it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good design. It's really cool. Three ratings, 5.0 out of 500 percent, huh? Now look at all time sales. You can see that it was 2021, and then it's it's consistently selling. But I feel like this niche is an underserved niche. It's made its most. It looks like it's made its most sales going into this year, which is really good, right? You can see that there's more, probably more and more of a demand for this niche. 
hot air balloon. Next niche is going to be aliens, ancient Egyptian pyramids, aliens, space, UFO, science fiction. There's a lot going on right here, right? There's all there's all kinds of different niches right there. You're seeing this is cool. You have the the like the spaceships putting together like the pyramids. It's just interesting, right? Ah, it gets you thinking, right? And I think that's cool because as if a design, the concept of a design, if you can get someone like if you're telling a story, that's what it's doing. It's telling a story. Anytime you tell a story, you get people's attention. And when you get people's attention, you can make you can you can get their attention. That's your goal, right? Get the attention with the design. You can make sales. I like what they got going on here. It's pretty dope. Pretty clean and. I, I like it. It's a cool design, but the the niche is aliens. I think this is really cool. But now they're mixing it with uh, aliens and Egyptian pyramids, right? Ancient Egyptian pyramids. I think it's a good idea. It's a good design. 18 ratings, 4.7 out of 5. Come down. It's 19.99 price range and the different color. All the colors will look good. Put only four colors, right? And there we go. All time. Look at all time. Look at that. And it's consistently selling and then going into Q4. It's giving a boost. I think the algorithm's giving a boost in some of the designs. I'm not sure if you guys are paying attention to that, but it seems like a significant drop. And it seems like they're trying to push it a little bit more for Q4 with their designs organically, which is cool. That's just a guess. That's just a guess. Now, a niche that's coming up is uh, the year of the dragon and Chinese, Chinese New Year 2024. If you just do a little quick search on this, February 10th. 2024 so you have some time right right now to leverage the q4 season and leverage this going into the new year and you can make a ton of sales with this right here chinese new year it's a niche that i've previously got into in the past you're the pig now that's the year of the dragon and you see what they're doing 2024 with the dragon right spelling it out i'm not sure what this chinese these chinese letters mean i'm not sure what that is exactly and then if i come down here all time you see it made its first sale this month and then it made another sale on the 18th the next day but it's making sales so if you think that you, that you can you know obviously make some sales inside of a niche this would be a really good idea and i think it would be an awesome seller for the year of the dragon and you can definitely make some sales inside next niche is going to be fa fo fa Get about it. South Korean Asian food noodles ramen. So South Korean, huh? So it's a more is a Vietnamese dish, I believe. So the design though, the design's pretty cool. Forget about it. Forget about it. Basically, that's what it's trying to say. I'm not sure. I never seen anybody put any eggs inside the pho. So this design may be a little bit off, which is interesting because understanding the niche and understanding the details that go into this niche, that's one way to stand out. But when you're coming over here and looking at this, it's a consistent selling design, even though I feel like it's a little off. I may be wrong, but I, I feel like that's that's not it's not what it is. But it's look at it's consistently selling. So the person seemed like they got the design wrong, but it's not a it's not the design that makes sense. So let me come over here. Let's say like for example, for show. Let me show you another example. For show Vietnamese Asian foods. T and they put t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. So obviously up at the end, it always puts depending on the product, right? It puts the the name of the product at the end for you. 36 ratings for show. And then if you come down all time BSR, you can see that it's this one's cranking. This one's making the sales, and then it looks like it. It's uh, obviously this year the BSR uh, the whole time being up. It's been it's at its lowest right now. Hmm, pretty good, huh? Simple for show. Simple, simple design. Nothing too crazy. Next niche is gonna be snowboard, ski. There's two different sports, but I was trying to find something that would be really cool. Snowboard. And I can see how the ski design. That's how they're. That's what they're targeting. But snowboard. I think this will work for that too as well. But Mixing an animal, right? And let's say just like boarding, skiing, snowboarding. And that's, like I said, it's one way to stand out. And we're looking at all this stuff, looking at all the information, all the different designs I'm sharing with you. That's a, it's a good idea uh, to create a, you know, a design and mixing an animal with like a sport, whatever it is that you're doing or your, or your hobby or your job or, you know, occupation. The meow tins are calling. You got, you know, got some goggles on and uh face protection eye protection on the mountains are calling it's a cool design you got some trees right there it's funny saying the mountains are calling and then if we come down all time boom it's making sales pretty consistent and this is from last year but it's you know it's consistently making sales throughout the whole year obviously this is you know in june july when it starts to get the sun starts to come out it it's it's not in you know, snowboarding or skiing season it obviously when it gets colder right which is interesting because you're mixing something that's only done in the winter time, you know, with the trendings of Q4, that's possibly one way that you can create a top selling design by leveraging that. But, you know, during the summertime, the sun's out, 
the, the design might not do so good. And if you want more niche research, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching and give this video a thumbs up.